No, I am recording. Okay, so for tonight's lesson, we are going to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> we are going to talk about bubble gum. Do you like bubble gum? Mm, not really. Why? Oh, sorry. I forget um, to erase this. Not really. Why? Yeah. Um, because I don't like it when it's uh, in our stomach. Yes, and too much of eating bubble gum is bad for the teeth, right? Yes. Okay. So, what is your favorite snack? Uh, it's potato chips. Potato chips. How about your favorite drinks? Mm, not, I'm not sure. I have a lot of favorite drinks. <laughs> you have a lot of favorite drinks. Okay, so now let's go here. I will just move this in. This one. So we are going to talk about bubble gum. What is um the story behind bubble gum and who invented bubble gum? Okay, look at Okay, okay. Okay, this one. So please read this one. Do you want me to um um make the words bigger? Yes. No. Thomas Adam, an American inventor, is the father of modern bubblegums. During the 1870s, Adam discovered by accident a new way to make chewing gum while he was trying to find an is for quicker. Quicker is the Spanish word for sap. Just come from one kind of Mexican tree, Mr. Say Adams. Mexican. 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 Mr. Adams wanted to make rubber from Chico. Mr. Adams worked for a long work. time. Work. Okay, this one is work. Work for a long time trying to make rubber from Chico. His own other son, Thomas Jr., are also happy now. And then, but they never discovered a way to make it work. One day, Thomas Adam Jr. Met Senior. Senior was in a store when he had he had a young girl at home chewing guns. Adams and his son has been chewing Chico while they were working on the robot, so he decided to get up. Trying to make rubber from the chico and make guns in this. At that time, chewing gum was made from sap from spruce tree. This chewing gum had strong taste. Adam thought chewing gum for chico tastes better. He and his son wrapped a small piece of chico in colored paper and sold it. In no time, people ever grabbed being chewing his gum. People uh could. Um, can you repeat? People could blow. People could blow bubbles with chico chewing gum. But the bubbles were very sticky. It was not until 1928 that water Demir found a way to improve chewing gum by making bubbles that were not sticky. Okay, very good. So this is all about the history and who invented bubblegum. Yes. So Thomas Adams, an American inventor, is the father of modern bubblegum. Because before, there, there are chewing gum. But um, Thomas Adams, Adams improved um, chewing gum to, to a modern bubblegum, right? Yes. Yes, and during the 1870s, Adam discovered by accident a new way to make chewing gum. While he was trying to find a use for a chicle, chicle or a sap. Chicle is um it came from the Mexican tree. Yes. Yes, it's a oh, juice like, of a Mexican like, tree. Wait, I need to check the fan. Okay, go. Okay. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. So chicle or sap, it. Um, it came from the tree. It's a juice of a tree, and chicle is um, a juice of a tree, um, a juice of a Mexican tree. Yes. 
Yes, and it's very sticky. Um, okay, Chico, it. What? The Chico, the bubble of gum is very, very stick. It's very what? Um, why the Chico, the bubble of the gum is very stick. Okay, wait, um, you will know later. You will find out what is, um, what, what will happen. Okay, chicle is a Spanish word for sap that comes from, um, one kind of Mexican tree. So, Mr. Adams wanted to make a rubber from a chicle. Um, at first, he never wanted to make a bubble gum, which made from the chicle. He really wanted to, to make or to invent, um, a rubber using yeah. chicle. Yes, he and um, his son are trying to make a rubber. So Mr. Adams worked for a long time trying to make a rubber from Chickle. His oldest son, Thomas Jr., ha also helped him now and then, but they never discovered a way to make it work. Yes, they never discovered to make it work. And um, one day, Thomas Adams Sr. was in a store when he heard a young girl ask for some chewing gum. And Adams and his son has, had been chewing chicle while they were working on the rubber. While they were working on the rubber, they are um, chewing a chicle. Nice. I'm curious what chicle tastes like. <laughs> How about you? Um, my thing is, it's not good and not sweet like Yes, um, me too. Panda. I think yes. it's not sweet and it's too sticky, right? Yes. Yes, and so he decided to give up trying to make a rubber from a chicle and make a gum instead. And at that time, chewing gum was made from sap from spruce trees. This chewing gum had a strong taste. Yes, it had a strong taste. Maybe it's very sticky and um, bubbly, right? Yes. Yes, and I think it's um, it's not really sweet. Yes. And Adams thought chewing gum from chicle tasted better. He and his son wrapped small pieces of chicle in colored paper and sold it. In no time, people everywhere began chewing his gum, and it became popular. Yes, and he started to earn a lot of money from it. And people could blow bubbles with chill, with chicle chewing gum, but the bubbles were really very sticky. Yes, it's very sticky. And um, until it was 1928 that Walter Dimmer found a way to improve chewing gum by making bubbles that were not really sticky. Yeah. Right? Yes, okay. Do you think um, eating bubble gum is healthy? Mm, no. Why? Um, there's a sick time, his tummy is always contain a lot of chemical. Yes, it contains a lot of chemical, right? Yes. Yeah, so it's not healthy. Or if you want to, to eat bubble gum, you should, after that, you should drink more water, right? Yes. And brush your teeth. Okay, now let's answer this in. What kinds of candy are popular in your country? Mm, it's um, just bubble gum too. Bubble gum too? Yes. Yes? Okay, how often do you buy chewing gum? Mm, um, why not is in my bubble gum, but eating is, um, chewing is uh, pretty good, mine is sweet, but it's not good for the teeth. Oh, so sometimes, sometimes you, um, you bought bubble gum. Now let's uh, proceed here. How long ago do you think bubble gum was invented? Um, about two hundred years ago. Yes, two hundred years ago, right? Yes. 
Okay, now let's answer this one. Let's match each word with the best meaning. Okay, what is um rubber means? Um, it's a soft material to make erase and tires. Yes, a soft material used to make erasers and tires. Oh, I have a question. Do your father like the new book? Um, yes. Yes? Oh, that's good to hear. How about your mother? Mm, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, next. How about taste? Um, the flavor of food on the tongue. Say tongue. Yes. Okay, the flavor of food on the tongue. Very good. And how about chew? What What is the meaning of chew? Um, I think it's... Um, I'm not sure. I think, chew, I think chew is, um, is like a food with teeth. So yeah. what is chew? I'm just, I say it's is break up food with teeth. Yes, it's letter D, break up food with the teeth. Very good. And what is improve? Um, it's make better. To make better, very good. And how about this one? A person who, oh, discover. What is discover? Is learn, find, or find out something no one knows me before. Yes, um, improve is, is what? Um, is learn, find, uh, or find out something no one knew before. Very good, it's letter C. Okay, how about discover? What does um, discover mean? Uh, wait. Um, what is not... Young. The number five is um is letter C. The number four is B. What? Improve. Um, improve is uh letter B. Oh, your answer here is letter B. Yes. Okay, let's check that later. And number five is letter C. Mm -hmm. And how about inventor? A person who creates new things. A person who creates new things. Okay, very good. Now let's check if all your answer is correct. Rubber is? Rubber is a soft material used to make wheels and tires. Say so erasers. Erasers. Very good, it's correct. And taste is? Is um the flavor of food on the tongue? Yes, taste is a taste is um okay. Wait, I will just wear this guy's again. Um, I think oh, taste is how we okay. feel how the we feel the food on our tongue. It's tongue, okay? The answer of um, Tay, of number two, is the, the flavor of food on the tongue. It's letter F. And chew is? Chew is like a food with teeth. Very good. And improve is letter B. Make yes. better. Very good. And discover is letter C. Learn, find, or find out something no one knew before. And it's correct. Inventor is, your answer is letter E, a person who creates new things. Very good. Well, okay, you got six points. Very good, Ben. And okay, now let's move here. Uh, where was Thomas Adams from? from? In America. Yes, because he is an American, so obviously he came from America, right? Yes. 
<laughs> okay. And number two, who helped Mr. Adams try to make a rubber? A, a girl in the store. B, Walter Dimmer. C, his best friend. And D, someone in his family. Um, is someone in his family. Yes, someone in his family. And that is his? His son. Yes, his son. His eldest son. And that is Thomas? Junior. Junior. Very good. Okay, what was Thomas Adams trying to make? A new kind of rubber. A new kind of rubber. Very good. Next, number four. Which of these sentences is not true? A. Thomas Jr. helped his father. B. Mr. Adams was the right person to sell gum. I mean, the first person to sell gum. And let her see, Mr. Adams thought spruce gum did not taste as good as gum from chicle. And D. Mr. Adams never found a way to make a rubber from chicle. Mm, I think is, um, is Mr. Adams' uh, spruce gum did not taste as good as gum from chicle. Yes, that's correct. The answer is letter C. Mr. Adams thought spruce gum did not taste as good as gum from chicle. Next, how was Mr. Dimmer's gum different from other gum? A. It made bubbles. B. It was sold in colored paper. C. It was less sticky. And D. It was made up from tree sap. Um, it was less thick. Ticky. Yes, it was last ticky. Very good. Now let's move here. Okay, this is an idioms. Read this one. Right? He was killed when he shot himself by accident. Last night I found a new website by accident. Yes, okay, so these are um, the sentence using these words. He yeah. was killed he when... Was... Go. Um, can I answer um, number two? Okay, so now this one is um, now and then, meaning... Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes, and these are the sentence using um, now and then. Yes. Everybody has bad days now and then. I enjoy going to movies now and then. Very good. And next is? Give up. Stop doing Winning. something. Yes. And these are the sentences using this word. Amy gave up searching for her dog when it got dark. William gave up smoking seven weeks ago. Okay, very good. Now let's move here. Okay. Thomas Edison, who made the first electric light, was a famous blank. Um, is inventor. Yes, it's a famous inventor. Number two, Linda does not like the blank of fruit candy. Um, is is chill. Chill? Are you sure? Yeah. No. No. Um, my thing is sweet. Sweet? No. Okay, analyze the sentence. Linda does not like the blank of fruit candy. Um, it's taste. Yes, the answer is taste. Very good. Number three, bubble gum was invented blank. My accident. By accident. Very good. Okay, next. Some kinds of meat are very difficult to blank. Chew. Yes, chew because it's very hard, right? Yes. Okay, number five. Denise never blank looking for a nice man. Um, gave up. Gave up. Very good. And last. Bicycle tires are made of, oh, this book is wrong, because made, this is made, okay? 
Yes. It should be it's, M A D A. It's made from rubber. Yes, it bicycle tires are made from my are made of rubber. Okay, now let's complete this phrases. Number Thomas. one. Thomas Adams was was the man who blank um improve what? Improve. Improve now. Uh, discovered. Yes, discovered. Very good. The answer here is discovered. And this one. Oh, wait. Um, Thomas Adams was the man who discovered a way to make bubble gum from chicle. At first, he was trying to make. Um, rubber. Yes, rubber. Very good. Um, this one. He worked for many years on this, and his son helped him blank. Um, Remember, his son helped him now? Help him. Um, can I see that? No. <laughs> um... <laughs> you can't uh, see the book. I think it is improve. No. Mm. Remember, um, his son Thomas Adams and his son helped him. Blank. Okay, I will give you a clue. Two words. Oh, it's, up. it's three words. Now and then. Yes, now and then. Very good. Next. Later, he got to make a gum from chicle. Adams blanked the idea. And what is the answer here? Improve. No. Um, gave up. Yes, gave up. Adams the idea, um, gave up the idea of making rubber and became rich by making bubble gum, right? And yeah. later on, another man... Um, um, taste. No! <laughs> Remember Walter Demers? Improve. Yes, improve. Walter Demer improve the bubble gum right yes okay please read this again thomas Adams was a man who discovered a way to make bubble gum from chicle at first he was trying to make bubble from chicle he worked for many years on this and his son had been now and then later he got to the make them from chicle adams gave up the idea of making rubber and become rich making bubble gum. Another another man improved Adam's idea by making bubble gum, but the was less sticky. Okay, very good. Now I will give you a, oh this one. Um, in Singapore there is a rule that you cannot sell the chewing gum. Yes, the um the government implemented some law that you can't sell the chewing gum. So, what um, do you think is the reason? And, oh, um, wait, um, do you agree with that rule? Yes, because everyone will throw the gum that they're chewing down at the ground and everyone has to walk it on it and the shoes all stick into it. Yes, and government, they, they're just protecting the, um, the children in their country, right? Yes. Yes, because some of the bubble gum are not safe to eat because it contains a lot of chemical, right? Yeah. Okay, who is the most famous inventor in your country? Um I'm not sure, but um next lesson I will find out who who is a famous inventor. Okay. That will be your homework, okay? You are going okay. to search who is the most famous inventor in your country and what did um, he or she invent, okay? Okay. Okay, so have a good night, Ben, and I will see you again tomorrow, okay?
I'll see you again tomorrow too. Okay, bye bye. Have a good night. Wait. Tomorrow you don't teach any students. Yes. Um, at at first time, can you teach me more? It means that we are going to um, have a lesson at 20, um, 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Okay, um, tell your father that, um, talk to my CS. Yes. Not, okay? Tell your father that, um, she will, uh, he will talk to my CS and inform them that you, we are going to have one hour class, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good night, Ben, and take care. Good night.